1867, Mark Twain arrives in the Holy Land. He notes whilst there that on the one hand the land is fertile, is rich, but on the other the hand is desolate. How can these two contradictions exist? To understand further, we can look into a brighter in Seder Olam. There we learn that Avram, when running away from Nimrod at the age of 70, heads westwards. He notes that in Syria, the people there are able to be lazy, are able to sit back. The land there is so fruitful, is so fertile, that they can basically harvest without lifting a finger. In Eretz Israel, he notes that it's different there. There, the land is fertile, but people have to strive. People have to work. This is the nature of Eretz Israel. Avram there wishes that Eretz Israel would be given to his descendants, and Akash Baruch Hu there agrees. Why was it so? Why is the nature of Eretz Israel, as Mark Twain said, two contradictions? It is so to make us work. The land will be desolate unless we work. Eretz Israel corrects our nature. It makes us work. It doesn't allow us to be lazy. May we understand that Eretz Israel is more than just a land, but it also a means to an end, to correct ourselves, to correct our nature, to make us strive. Shabbat Shalom.